Early morning, Allentown Gun Show. Jason down the parking lot. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, hi. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. I like it. I can't wait to take it. Very nice. It's not heavy. No, I, no, I, I picked up and carried it around, so if I can do it, I know I can you can. Do, I can do it. Uh, but nice. like I said, this opens up. That's so you can feed the belt, supposedly. Yes, right. Okay. Close it down. Just right. slide that ahead. Locked in. That locks it in. Then yep. you just cock makes a great sound. <laughs> I love it. Do that again? Let's hear it again. Love it. That's great. You know what I love about it is you didn't mess around with the blue or anything. No, I didn't. You didn't All mess I around. Did, I went through I had to I mean this thing was so gummed up yeah. that you couldn't even move in any of the actions. You know how many guys said, Oh, I would have bought it. Yeah. They'll say that. After it's sold, I bet yeah. you they came running up. Yeah. You, you probably won't have any trouble solving it if you want to sell it. Well, I'm not going to. It's for my... Uh... What do you run, a prop company? Yeah, I have props and uh, I have a TV show. Really? A travel channel. I didn't know that. You're up to price next time. I wouldn't do no. that. No, the... Uh, I have a TV show on travel, but also on Discovery Channel. And uh, it's coming out in April. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Billy Buys Brooklyn. So I like big, flashy pieces. Is this going to be on there? Might be. Might be. Not sure. Okay. They, they're kind of weird with the guns. Okay. I can't do any Nazi stuff, you know? Yeah. But this, right now, I'm just doing this for my YouTube. Yeah. Because it's fun. People love to see, you know? Yeah. Is this Take a look at this? Yeah. Is this your card? Yes. You want me to put it on my channel so people can yeah. see it? Yeah, okay. If you would. Yeah, of course. So. This is who I got the 30 caliber from. Tom. Call him up. Look at what he's got. Thank you. Right area and then another building coming into it like that. Yeah. I put a couple of stalls in there, and, uh, and then here's room to put some tractors and shit, and then here's a tack room over here, and then I think it's 180 by 80. Oh, jeez. Wow. Wow. But in the wintertime, they can ride all the time. I'm looking for full auto with night vision. You hear that?
<laughs> yeah, but I don't think my waistline. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Hey, just filming your beautiful setup. Don't put it on eBay. No, <laughs> no. Buy it now. This is the kind of stuff I like. Excuse me, I read this. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Look at that. I've been supporting New York City. I've been there for 20 years. Me too. Support New York City. Support New York City, right? It's going down the tubes lately, but it'll come back. What's that? It's going down the tubes lately. Uh, I don't know. You think so? What? Real estate wise or what? Just crime, everything. But it's it'll come back. Crime. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. the 70s all over again. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. It doesn't take much for a kid to get a gun. Oh, when yeah. I was young, yeah. it was a zip gun. You could make it yourself. Oh, yeah. Well, they yeah. make them now in plastic. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. 3D. See you later. Hello, Rodney. Hello. Brown, how are you? Fantastic. How are you doing? So what's going on? I'm set up right. Oh, let's see. Here. See where that colonial halberd sticking way up there? Wait, wait. The next guy over? Yes. That's my my table is that whole row there. With the black tarp? Yeah. Where, where it says we buy used guns? No, no. Right here. Right where that guy is here. Okay, I see. Okay. So how you been? Working hard. Publishing a lot of books, which are all over there. Okay. I got my uh, Leonardo da Vinci and the Guns of Columbus book published. I got the Muhammad Ali book published. I sold the Remember Muhammad Ali collection. Yes. Remember the bronze hand he had? Yeah. I wanted to buy that so badly. I sold one at the at the auction. I got fifteen thousand dollars for it. And you would. I did. I bought prints. I think. You sold yeah, me a couple of prints. prints yeah. But I still have another bronze fist. You do. How much? To you, ten. It's I have to sold. do a few more TV shows. Yeah. It's. Um, oh, it's great. No, you can see the auction was um, in uh, October. Okay. And uh, I took in about a million bucks. Oh, good. Yeah. So you're doing good. One painting went for four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Well, he's, he's that a great was a, man. Yeah. That was a Sting Like a Bee painting, yes. which you have the print of. You have the print, right, exactly. Yeah, you have the print of. Wow. I'm going to go look at your stuff. Yeah, look good, good. Where, it's right over here, right? Sorry. Oops, sorry. Let's see. Right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. New Testament, RAF. I like that. RAF. Oh cylinder. yes, yes, I remember these. Those are so great. It's a Donism. Don loved these. I know. I bought every one he ever had. I could get my hands on. This. Such a piece of history. That's from Don. Yeah. I, I remember I that. I know. I, I can recognize it. Yeah. Oh, that's great. We we used to go to England and we'd fight. Like say, no, I'm selling it to Rodney. No, you're selling. Then we'd end up saying, okay, we're well, partners on it. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's Probably on the front of some yeah. pilot's MGTD. Exactly. You know, I got my good. shop near your bronze guy uh, in Greenpoint. Your guy, the bronze guy. No shit. My shop's right next to him. I'll be done. I'm on Greenpoint Avenue. Billy's Antiques and Props. Well, well I don't live in New York anymore. You know that. Right? Where do you live? Best my home in Massachusetts. I sold the place in New York about six years ago, right before the Korean wave started. Oh, you're smart. And uh, oh, that's great. I used to drive four and a half hours twice a week to go home for the weekends. Oh, my God. You're and, smart. Uh, oh, that's great. US oh, they speak to you. Yes, that's beautiful. And you Look can see the outline of this. In the, in that. Yeah, it is. RAF. No, I like the RAF stuff. I like that good RAF. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah well, it's good seeing you. And this is, these are your books, right? Yep. Here, I'll put it on my uh, YouTube right. channel. Right. So, tell me about your books, brother. Uh, I was honored that the yeah. Commandant of the Marine Corps wrote the foreword for the book. Right? And you're, you wrote this book? Yes. It took about 25 years to put it, put it together. Okay. But it's, it's the story of all of the Iwo Jima monuments in the country, starting with the very first one that was made by Felix de Weldon to this original monument. And the most amazing thing about it is that I found out that the six Marines that the Corps gave Felix to help build this monument right. all fought on Iwo Jima oh my God. in the 5th Marine Division just a few weeks before they went and helped him build the, the monument while the war was still going on. Oh, so wow. it was not only built by one of the most famous sculptors in the country, but by six Marines that had just come in out of combat. Oh. Three of them getting Purple Hearts. No, it's, it's, so I it's, remember it's, when you, you first had that first deal, when we went on the Intrepid, remember? Yeah. It, it was not even all, remember we were walking around, it was in it's cordoned off. living history. Yeah. So this is Mr. Rodney Hilton Brown, right? This is my oh, that's nice. latest book, Okay. Leonardo da Vinci yep. and the Guns of Columbus. The that's sole nice. surviving gun that can be attributed to Leonardo da Vinci is a gold and silver, heroically adorned matchlock gifted to Christopher Columbus by Queen Isabella in 1493, making it the oldest known American gun. I need you when you're done. Yes. All right, when you're done. I don't owe you money. Do I owe you money? Yeah, of course not. Huh? I mean, the old, the old debt, I just cancel it. <laughs> okay. When it gets that old, forget about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got plenty. And this so it's is a great. Gold and what a great story. It's a buddy. gold and silver adorned gun with the motto of Columbus, Por Castile we por Leon, Nuevo Mundo Hollow Cologne, inlaid in gold in the top of the barrel. And the lock plate comes out of Da Vinci's Codex uh, Madrid. Oh, that they wow. just discovered. It's a unique lock plate where when the serpentine goes down to light the match, the match lock cover comes off simultaneously. And the drawings for this are right in Da Vinci's uh, codex, dated 1490. Wow. Now where did this gun come from? Well, who has this gun? I paid over $100,000 for it from Norm Flaterman decades and decades ago. Years and years ago. And he said, it's not Columbus's gun. It must be belonging to one of his sons because the lock mechanism is just too fancy for 1492. But all the other heraldic things about the gun, there's a, Makes uh, it uh, a, a, a scutcheon plate on the wrist stock that is right. the coat of arms of Isabella uh, and Ferdinand, and it has the pomegranate on the bottom of the coat of arms, which means they captured Granada in 1492 and added it to uh, the coat of okay. arms. So, so just like the coins, you can date okay. heraldic pieces. So how can people get this? Where, where do they... Show Amazon.com. Okay, let me see. Do you have a card I can put on the... Uh, is this good? Where's your card? Let's see. Because I put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. So here. Let's put it down here and I'll zoom in on it. That's easier. Okay, if you're interested in this incredible history, here is the information. And you just call Rodney or email him and he'll get you a copy. Or you can go to Amazon.com. Or you can go to Amazon.com. But I'm sure Rodney would love to hear from you. <laughs> this and is this great. is my other latest book, Muhammad Ali, The Untold Story, Painter, Poet, and Prophet. And I was honored that his only son, Muhammad Ali Jr., oh, wrote the foreword for the book. Oh, I remember this was really. So that's the imprimatur. And no, it's, it's the great. largest anthology of his poems that's ever been published. Work, yes. It has pictures of him painting. There's the one I got. That's the one. Yep. That's the quintessential. I remember. Sting like a bee. Yes. And He's a great artist. He really was. All right. I mean, this is you too. Here too, right? This is me. Up to here. Yeah. Oh, what a handsome looking. What's his name? Oh, Lucy. Lucy, how old is Lucy? About nine. Oh, Lucy, you're great. Do you have any deals, Lucy? <laughs> huh? You giving a discount? Look, she's looking. She's 
Huh? You want to make a deal? Make a deal, Lucy? Probably going to bite my nose. No, she doesn't. She's very friendly? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lucy, how much is this? <laughs> She's beautiful. Thank really you. beautiful. Thank you. Say hello to my little friend. Another score. This is a Browning 30 caliber machine gun, an M 1919 30 caliber machine gun, and it is an instructional model, just like the carbine I bought a few months back. Allentown Gun Show is one of the best in the country. You really get good deals, but look at the size of this thing. I'm putting it next to my car so you can get an idea of scale. This thing is monstrous. <laughs> 